Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. One of the most exciting Fridays today on FIFA 23 as League One Team of the Season is here. And it's one of the craziest days into content as well because we already have the full team leaked from supposedly pro FIFA players accounts that are unlocked. We know the official stats, the dynamic images, and everything for these cards. Now we're going to take a look at those leaks and of course, seeing those cards, how might it impact prices on this market today? There might be a big market shift in some specific prices, especially on the lower tier. Could League One Team of the Season crash the market a bit? That's what I want to talk about in today's video. So if you're excited for League One Team of the Season, drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Now, before we get into that, let's talk about the madness that was Thursday for the lack of content. The content that was delayed, we knew we were going to get an Icon SBC, we knew we were going to get marquee matchups. I had never seen so many people wanting to know where marquee matchups was, bro. An SBC that we get every single Thursday, but this time, of course, with the XP involved, everybody wanted it so they get their XP. We finally got it. It was like eight or nine hours delayed. EA cited an issue with the servers yesterday as to why content was not dropped on time. But marquee matchups is finally here. It's pretty much the same thing as normal. Decent packs in here. Nothing super crazy. You get two squads done and you get the XP for it. Now, we also got the Javi Prime Icon SBC. It's about 100,000 coins to do. If this is an emotional player for you, for why you love the game of football and why you play FIFA, go ahead and do the SBC. We just wish it was his Trophy Titan. So, bit of an L there because it's not the best version of Javi. But it is what it is. Decent price. Now, at the content drop yesterday, at least... This was added in objectives, the new season swaps XP progress. And this, you can do all of these, but the League One Premium and the Tot Swap Challenge. Every other one of these sections inside of here, you can complete right now on this game and get as much XP as possible. And that is big because today, I believe with the new content that drops today at 6 p.m. UK, we will be able to get level 30. If you're caught up on all the XP, if you do the objective today, like we have uh, XP from last week's Carrasco objective, right? You get XP for doing one of these and completing one of these. I think you will be able to see that today as a part of a new League One Tots objective. And that might just be enough to push people over the edge to get level 30. If you're not quite there yet, like myself, you'll probably be able to get there during this next couple of days anyway, as more XP is dropped and as we complete those objectives to get that XP. So that'll be the big question. Do you take the 84 times 30? Do you take that player pick? Because with League One Tots cards that we, of course, are going to look at here in a second, that player pick might be pretty juicy. But of course, there's so many SBCs to do right now, that fodder, and also with a lot of Tots cards and packs, you could still pack a blue. That's going to be a really tough decision for a lot of people upcoming on this game. I'm excited to see how good those player picks look. Now, also what I'm excited to see today is if this League One team of the season is as leaked right here and this is something that we don't normally see and let's talk about these leaks guys because this is crazy now let me tell you about the backstory of how these pictures are coming about this is one photo is a basically a combination of all of a bunch of photos from pro fifa players there is a pro fifa tournament this weekend and evidently ea um have given them unlocked accounts so that they can use any single player in the game and these are the official league one tots cards evidently the up the accounts updated and they have the official cards on them, and that's where all of these pictures are surfacing from. So, take it with a pinch of salt, because, again, sometimes, you know, this stuff is somehow wrong. It could be all, you know, faked and mocked up, but it does look a little sus, sus but at the same time, it looks pretty real as well. Renato Sanchez's st uh, stats, um, Mbappe and Messi, they all match the loading screen, so... It looks like it could be legit, guys. This is just kind of a crazy leaking situation. But if this is the legit team, some of these stats in here, specifically on the lower rated cards, are nuts. And as I look at this team, I'm a little bit worried for some parts of the market today, specifically the low tier. And that's what I'm going to talk about. Look at this Musa Sissoko moments card. 90 pace, 91 dribbling, 90 defense, 95 physical. Renato Sanchez is club 90 except for defense. Lacazette looks juicy. Jonathan David with arguably the best dynamic image of FIFA 23 with the sunglasses and the arms crossed. That's a sick looking card. Um, you've got... Even some of the cheap cards, right? Nuno Menge, I think is going to be pretty affordable, but so needed for links in this game. You've got Neymar with a Tots Moments card, as we expected. You've got a big juice on Ben Yedder. The Fofana, the midfield here of these three guys, Fofana, Sissoko, Renato, 
look absolutely nuts. And I would almost guarantee you today that Renato is going to be the most expensive of these three. But Fofana and Sissoko, to me, don't look like they're going to be more than probably together like 500 or 600,000 coins. I really feel like what I said earlier in the week with these cards, it will be interesting to see if these stats are true as they get put out into the game today. But these cards on the low tier might end up being really, really cheap right away and pretty packable just because also there's so few gold cards in League One, which kind of makes the pack weight on the bottom tier of this team of the season a lot higher. So those are the cards that we have leaked right now. There are a couple of uh, other ones that were not added into that graphic. The goalkeeper into the team is Samba, and he has a nation swap from the Congo to France. He is actually going to be dropped as a French goalkeeper, which will help out with a lot of squad building. A nice link to Fofana as well, and Medina, the center back. And then also leaked as a part of this squad is Klaus. That is a right back, right wing back Klaus card. So no Hakimi as it seems. And uh, that looks like a card we're all going to get tired of packing. And it's going to be one that's probably less than like 50,000 coins, even as early as today on this game. Honestly, guys, the low tier of this team looks really cheap. And I think we'll talk about that a bit more later and how it could impact the market. Now, the big leak, you might see the flashback, right? We're going to zoom in on this in a second. This is our SPC we're supposed to be getting today, we believe. The flashback, Kim Pembe. They did not give him 90 pace. I was hoping they would. They just gave him the 89 just to make us mad. But that looks like an absolutely insane center back that I would be very worried about center back cards on this game today with this SBC potentially dropping. It's a really nice upgrade over a Centurion's card, which was needed. Now, the one thing I'll say is um, he's got 76 defense. And also 76 agility. So I would imagine that his agility is not going to go over 85 today with his boost of going up to 83 dribbling on the flashback SBC. But if they do, he would no longer be lengthy. And I think it is crucial for EA to keep this card as a lengthy card. But with this SBC dropping today is what it looks like. That is a crazy card with the links with the stats, it all comes down to the price, right? We see the stats here, it comes down to the price. If this SPC is less than 500K, it is going to be a bad day to own other center backs on this game. There are going to be prices dropping everywhere if that card comes out at a very affordable price today. Again, I think anywhere under like 600,000K, 600,000 600, coins, would be a decent price to that Kempembe and a price that a lot of people would want to go and do right away especially a lot of people opening packs today maybe some saved up packs the league one specific packs lightning rounds store packs i think today we're going to look at store packs in a minute i think those are going to be huge for the pack weight for team of the season a lot of people are going to be opening those so Kempembe, i think is going to mud center back prices today just watch out and we'll have to see what the price on that sbc is and i want to talk about objectives because you may have seen these leaks yesterday for openda Treore and Mbemba. Three cards here that are not in this league um, from all the other cards we have seen leaked so far. This to me basically points to what we have seen this past week inside of the objective chase where you got multiple cards inside of one objective, right? Inside of the Carrasco, you've got the Carrasco, of course, you've got Pal Torres and Issy inside of like the uh the milestones for the daily login. We had the um what was his name? I forget his name. The uh, Castellanos card. That almost to me is, is what this seems like. Maybe today we're going to get an objective with like Openda as the main card to claim. Or maybe it's Traore or Mbemba, right? But inside of that, you maybe get a couple other cards. So we don't have the official cards for those just yet. But those that might be how we see these cards dropping out of the game today. These could also be SBCs. We don't entirely know. So we're kind of curious about those. Uh, but again, so many like solid cards, right? And I think what this team looks like to me is a lot of people are going to be transitioning out of some cheap cards that are in their team currently into some of these new cards. So that's kind of the team right there. Now let's talk about market. If these cards are going to come out today at really good prices with really good stats, again, the combination of good stats and affordable we've seen that crash the market before who remembers bruno gamaresh in the premier league team of the season this card was 200 000 coins just a week ago he's down a little bit now already but when he first came out and this is a great example right because we have a lot of midfielders coming today as well when his tots card was first released it was a lot cheaper than we thought it was going to be because his max price started very low it was like 350k 
and he wasn't as high rated as we thought he maybe was going to be. But if you compare this Bruno Guimaraes card, who is 170k, with like the Fofana, right, who's got 90 dribbling, 98 physical, 90 defense, it's not that far off. A bit more physical and a bit more defensive for Fofana, but... With the new card for his dropping on the game today, probably pretty high pack weight there. I, don't, I would not be surprised if Fofana is like 200,000 coins, 250k or less by the time the dust settles on the game today. Unless the pack weight is like crazy bad like it was for La Liga. I don't even see that being possible with these League One cards. I think the low tier is going to be super duper packable. And I think that could hurt your other low tier Tots cards on this game. That's where I'm most worried about the market today. Some of the lower to middle tier midfielders could be hurt in price because these new cards look cracked and they look cheap, right? That's how Premier League was. Cracked cards at pretty low prices and it really hurt a lot of the market. People were selling old cards that they had maybe for birthdays, fantasy foot and stuff like that to get these new Premier League Tots cards in because they were pretty cheap. That might be the same situation today. These cards might look pretty affordable to most people. They will sell what they had as Team of the Season cards from before to try out these brand new ones in their squad. That's where I'm a little bit worried about the market today, which is also why I started to take some of the cash on especially my Nuno Menj card. I had some Nuno Menj that I bought at 130,000 coins, selling them at 170K because yes, his new card is going to have 99 pace, 87 defense, and 88 physical, which is a really, really big boost. But I don't think this card today is more than like 300K. Maybe it's even less than that because you know, you've had a lot of really good left backs in this game released already, and he just seems to be really packable. And he's only 93 rated as Tots card is. And again, I'm just so worried about the low tier of this team being pretty packable. So I sold those. Selling into the hype, like we talked about yesterday, is always the safe route. If you want to risk it, you can. Some of these cards from League One out of pack specials could go up further after content, as people, of course, look for the cup today and objectives and building out teams that may be linked to Kempembe. But I would just be very careful. I'm not thinking it's a full-on market crash. I actually picked up um, a Team of the Year Messi for 3.7 million coins just a few hours ago because I think the new Messi card today, even though it's got the same stats, maybe a little bit worse than you might think than this Team of the Year. The new Messi's got 94 pace, minus one shooting and passing, still has maxed out dribbling, but it has plus two physical, and it's got striker position change. Just because of the day one rarity, I picked up a Messi at 3.7 because I think this card could go up another 100 to 200,000 coins as people see the new Messi being super rare, super hard to get today, and striker position change. So this one could go back up in price. We'll see. Gets a bit of a gamble there, but we saw it last week with Benzema and Militao and others. So I'm taking a bit of a gamble there on the Messi. But other than that, I am pretty liquid in terms of my coins. I'm waiting to see what sort of madness this market brings to us today. Now remember, if you're trading with any cards today, the number one tip that I can give you is make sure you are selling those cards around two to four hours after the content drop today because that is of course when we are going to see the peak amount of demand for weekend league teams and people that are going to be playing weekend league and buying those cards for their teams that is when you're going to see the peak amount of demand i'm about to buy that alexis sanchez right there 253 that's like an, this is like two videos in a row where we're getting like 30k 20k undercuts for these cards and uh, i can go ahead and sell that right now it looks like for like 275 so I uh, might go ahead and do that, but watch out for that time as the peak amount of demand on this game today, whatever cards you're trading, whatever cards you're going to be messing around with um, and just trying to flip, that's going to be when you will probably see your highest prices. And once again, I will tell you, just be careful with the market today. Um, man, with the way this looks, if the SBC content is really good, if the cards and packs end up being pretty cheap because they are packable, then things could get a bit messy. Now, the flip side is these cards maybe are all of a sudden like unpackable, like uh, the La Liga team this season was, and these card prices could be very, very high. And in that case, you might see some of your La Liga cards actually go back up in value, maybe not the center backs, uh, like Kunde, Militao. I watched today very carefully because of the Kempembe, um, and especially some of your middle tier ones, like maybe Modric, maybe Lewandowski. Maybe there's a panic sell on those cards after content, and then they go up. Uh, but I feel like the best chance these cards have of actually going up this weekend would only be 
if somehow this team today starts out very expensive, and I know these cards look cracked, and some of these cards are going to be very expensive, but to me it comes down to Fofana, Sissoko, Verratti, Jonathan David, those middle tier of cards, not the Mbappe, not the Messi, not the Neymar. Those we know are going to be expensive. But if the rest of the team is somewhat affordable and comes out on the market semi-cheap today and is somewhat packable, I think that's going to mean some bad things for the rest of the market throughout the weekend. And maybe it doesn't mean like a huge crash today. That might not take effect until we get throughout the rest of the weekend. So safe route is sell into the hype if you're worried about something today that is in your team. That's kind of the way that I would go about it. Now, store packs as well today. I'm very interested to see in because I mentioned this in yesterday's video and I want to talk a bit about it now. We have some crazy store packs that have been added. Now, I'm going to do a few more upgrade packs today. Um, and speaking of packs, we also have to think about the flash upgrade SPCs. That's been the thing we have seen this last week, two, three weeks in a row now. We've had that 86 times two SPC that has dropped. That might drop again today, and we'll talk about fodder in a second as it relates to that. All these store packs that are team of the season related for La Liga, they're going away today. We're getting some new ones. Now, I don't think we're going to see all of these packs today, but remember that Bundesliga player pick that crashed all the Bundesliga prices last week? Yeah, it's coming back for League One this time, and it just looks like it's the exact same one that was dropped during Bundesliga. It looks like it's going to be in the store. Don't think that's today. That's probably going to be sometime during the next week, probably Wednesday. That's when we saw it when Bundesliga was dropped. But a League One Tots tiebreaker pack contains 30 rare golds, five guaranteed from League One. You're going to notice inside of these packs that there aren't that many guaranteed League One players inside of it because... There are not that many League One rare golds, right? So that's the thing that I have to say, just be very, very careful with because uh, like this La Liga Tots Foundations pack contains 25 rare golds from La Liga alone, 185 plus, but the League One Foundations pack contains 50 rare golds, but only 10 of them are from League One, unlike 25 being from the La Liga pack. So again, that's what, another reason why I think the Tots weight's going to be really, really high today because there's just so few of those uh, gold cards and which we're going to now turn into the team of the seasons in the packs just because of less players being in League One on this game. League One Tots starter pack. This one's probably going to be like that 30k pack or 15k pack that was out. Five rare gold players with one guaranteed to be from League One. That'll probably have a decent percentage of a Tots. Uh, and then you get the moments loans in there too. I don't know if they'll do the 10 coin pack today. I hope they do that. Uh, and then we have a new icon pack in the code. 90 plus prime slash mid icon player pack this is very underwhelming if that's going to be released as an sbc that is um actually you know what this is this is compensation because people were getting the wrong pack from the uh, pack that was in the store that icon cheer pack was giving out 89 icons in it that's compensation is what that is right there for people that packed like 89 closer that's a compensation pack that's probably not an sbc league one tots essentials pack 20 rare gold players five from league one okay and then your guaranteed league one and super league tots packs super league are going to be on Monday. One quick shout for MLS. I would not hold on to these cards today. Mukhtar, Vela, Almada, the cards that hold value, definitely going to be dropping down in price because they're going to get supplied from the lightning round packs. But I think that what we might notice today is the pack odds for League One might be pretty good, right? Again, as I said, there are just fewer players that are in uh, League One in total, and that could increase your chances for a team of the season player out of those packs. And I think that's going to drain more coins off of the market this weekend, which is a little bit scary to me in terms of how the market may look. Now, we mentioned the Flash SBC. Let's talk about fodder. Will fodder actually rise up today? Here's what I would tell you. I would wait until we actually see the Flash SBC released because it's been the 86 times two the last two weeks. But I think during Prem Tots or maybe there was Community, whatever it was, there was like a player pick that was released as well. If they do the 86 double today, I would go straight to the market and I would buy up some 83s and 84s. Even though 84s are stupid expensive, I would stock a couple of those and 83s as well. Last week when this happened with 83s, 83s went from, you can see right here on the graph, last Friday, they went from 1.7 to 1.8K. SBC is released, boom. 
In the next couple hours, they go to almost 3,000 coins as people are doing that SBC. Even after the content drop, when all of those packs are being open for lightning rounds and stuff, those prices still went up. So that's what I would wait to see today is if we do get that 86 double, then I would go buy the fodder because if we don't and they just require like rare golds for a player pick, which it seems like they're kind of watering down the packs anyway, since there's less players in League One, that could be a possibility for today. Then you, of course, wouldn't want to invest ahead of time and risk losing some coins there because these 83s, if there's no flash SBC that requires them today, will go back down probably a thousand coins. 84s are going to go back down to like 4,000 coins if there's nothing that requires them today. Fodder is definitely going to drop, and that's why you're starting to see the prices dip down already. 9K for a bombing after all these guys were like 11K yesterday. So they're starting to drop, but that's because people know supply is coming now for the top tier i would say top tier this weekend is going to be a really good investment opportunity but wait for the supply once again today and also we got to talk about this early league one upgrade packs are going to be in such high demand later on this week as early as tonight on this game start stocking gold rares at 650 700 apiece get them in your club get them on the transfer list because they are going to start going up as soon as probably Saturday night, Sunday morning, those prices are going to start to rise because there will be so much hype to try to pack League One Team of the Season cards later on this week. So it's going to be a crazy day of content today. I'm super excited for it, and I'm hoping that maybe, just maybe, one of these saved up packs can get me a big Team of the Season card. Of course, if you have 75 times 11 League Ones, I packed Ben Yedder last year out of a saved pack right away. That could maybe happen again this year. I have to get very, very lucky again. But good luck to all you guys opening packs today. Drop in the Twitch stream. We'll be talking about the market, opening packs, and having a blast today for League One Team of the Season. That link is in the description once again. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. See you guys in the stream today. Happy League One Tots. It's been Nathan Wood Accountant. See you there. Peace.